there was a time as a native person in America, I mean, obviously we went from being the only people here to where we became the enemy of the people who came to take it away from us. And, and you know, and, and this is what genocide, manifest destiny was all about. So we, we had that experience. And then by the 1900s, by the beginning of the 1900s, pretty much we had all been confined and contained into reservations or whatever, and, in, and then taken off into the educational religious systems as children taken away. And, and, and this was not an aberration, taking the children of the native people was, that was the standard, and, and feeding them off into the religious educational systems. So basically, they were telling these now the native people that we couldn't be who we were anymore, Indian. We couldn't be Indians, we needed to be white. So here we were, historically speaking, in a situation where we couldn't be who we were and we didn't want to be, <laughs> right, who our oppressor wanted us to be. So I think that that's what that, that whole, that whole period of that so-called, that whole period of that drunken Indian time, that so-called period of time where the drunken Indian, where that image and that stereotypical thing came, but this is the Indian that saved us. Because this is the Indian that said, I'm not gonna, you, you won't, I can't be who I am and I'm not gonna be who you tell me to be, so I'll just be nothing, <laughs> I'll be something else. I'll just do my time and get through it. I'll erase, I'll erase the pain and I'll just do what I have to to get through it, but I will not become you. <laughs>